A historic sell-off. What's going on? I'm Ross here for your Business News Central update. Today, the S&P 500 plummeted 1.48%. The Dow fell 382 points and the Nasdaq crumbled 1.47%, marking the worst day for stocks since October 28th. Today was the first day of trading of 2021. And with the move lower, it marked a decline in the S&P 500 on the first day of trading of a new year for the first time since 2016. The Dow was down as much as 2.4%, marking the largest sell-off on the index on the first day of trading of a new year since 1932. The market opened higher, but began selling off due to what I think was profit taking from 2020 gains, selling in the new year in order to defer capital gains taxes to 2022. The sell-off was accelerated due to concerns around tomorrow's Georgia Senate runoffs. Two Senate seats from Georgia will be voted upon tomorrow, and if these two seats flip Democrat, it would lead to the Democrats being in control of the Senate. The reason why stocks rallied so much following the November elections was due to the fact that no particular party was in control, and therefore the regulatory environment would stay as it has been, very bullish for stocks, for the next two years. If the Democrats gain control of the Senate, Wall Street is fearful of tighter regulations for the country's largest companies. Wall Street is most fearful of a tax increase that could affect the bottom lines of these companies. Every day something happens, and I want you to know. We'll see you tomorrow.